Hamburg, Germany, December 1938. Four years into Adolf Hitler's reign as Führer, he is beginning to establish his total dictatorship by taking direct control of the German military. But on the brink of World War II, Hitler is also involved in much stranger endeavors that are hidden to the public. He is committing every remaining resource to searching for ancient relics that he believes could hold incredible powers. On December 17th, the German freighter MS Schwabenland sets out on one of these top secret missions. Its 33-member team is rumored to include scientists, military experts, construction crews, and key members of the Thule Society, an elite group associated with the Nazis that focused on mysticism and the occult. 32 days later, they arrive at their destination, Antarctica. The Nazis themselves were fascinated by ancient civilizations and legends of vanished super races. They were searching for this lost Arctic home that they thought that the Aryans had come from. They were looking all over the world, and that included Antarctica. The Thule Society actually believed that there were mystics or channels who were able to communicate with these beings who claimed to be either extraterrestrial in origin or claimed to belong to this uh, civilization that lived in Earth's interior. They gave a lot of information about the building of advanced aerospace vehicles, flying saucers, and I think this is where uh, Hitler's Nazi party got a lot of its information about Antarctica, that uh, in Antarctica there is this ancient civilization or bases where they could find a lot of these advanced technologies. During their time in Antarctica, the Nazis were believed to have mapped huge swaths of the icy landscape by air. Ancient astronaut theorists believe they also established an elaborate underground headquarters known as Base 211. Hitler and the Nazis were particularly interested in Antarctica. I think they really believed that there were things going on deep under the ice. And there have always been rumors that the Nazis, with their submarines, have underwater caverns, small cities, that they escaped there after World War II. When the Germans got to Antarctica, what they found were massive cities that were highly technological. And these buildings were not just on the surface, they went deep down underground. So they began relocating a massive amount of equipment and personnel to Antarctica, repressurizing these ancient facilities and reoccupying them. In 1946, one year after the end of World War II, the US government launched its own large-scale mission to Antarctica. Operation High Jump deployed 4,700 troops, 13 ships, an aircraft carrier, and a number of seaplanes to Antarctica. Although the government denied it at the time, it would later become known that one of the operation's primary objectives was, quote, extending the United States sovereignty over the largest practicable area of the Antarctic continent. 